Maybe we just got the, the, the traitor to stop that. Hey, look at that. The money they've been raising from all the gems. Look at how much production and value they put into then the show now. what about the old ones? You just like let those cats die down there? Yeah, no. Just, look at their fancy fancy over there. Fancy kitties. Oh, look. Gems of three will set you free. But gems of four will never be Getting all biblical. Wait, that's not biblical. That's Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, you can uh, toss rocks with uh, oh, again. What? It says you can push B to pick up the rock, and then you push R to throw the rock. So, you press what? Oh, to the right trigger. It's just right trigger. Oh, okay. You pick it up with right trigger, and then you push B to throw it. Oh, I can kill you. I'm oh, wait. There's something else. No, there wasn't. It was all the rocks I just brought down. Are you sure? Well, like, oh, it's the rocks. That's what yeah, I just brought them down. There you go. So what if you get rid of that rock? Wait, look at this. I thought we were schmancy manshi. No, the kitties are. We are. You see? These are all the rooms. Oh yeah, and that one was already in the, in the thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That maybe... That we can take one of these rooms? Do you need to stack them?
jump. It made you jump into it, right? Like yeah. there was some kind of wall. I didn't jump in there. Yeah, you're good. Oh, we're missing three. Damn. Hey, well.
my god! I found it.
with it. I was like, well, I don't have Taz with over there. That's crazy. That's the only way you can get these. I only have to get another one. Wait, wait. Myself. No, are you fucking kidding me, man? What the fuck? Man, this game just fucked us over.
bomb, the bomb, be careful. Oh, that's what he said to your bomb.
Oh god! Something to doing this. Like, what's the point? 
Especially when the guy was like, Oh, you're so close. So close to what? What are you talking about? Inconceivable! Yeah. I know, right? So should we do it? Because we didn't get a chance. Yeah, yeah it's just like the At least we showed off a secret. That was pretty sexy. Put him in your pocket. No, it's in the beginning. The so it's all like the and we showed how to get it. So yeah, you do have to do that. Too. Oh wait, we do need to go over there for the. Yeah, we got that. Oh, wait, what's over here though? Hey, you're going to. Okay. 
Seconds left, and it's gonna be epic. You know, I know. <laughs> yeah. And your wings went off the minute you did the exit. I was like, you got 10 seconds left. Can he do it? We got A. We got an A. Oh, God. Oh, he just took the button. Oh! Did I 
Can I just help him? Oh, wait.
We did it. No. The poop hit the fan here. The year was 1759. Okay, whatever. Self made billionaire, cat fanatic, and theatrics aficionado Perham Furbottom set out to create the biggest, ritziest, most thrill inducingest theater ever. And he did. And it was the talk of the town. Trust me, if you weren't there, you were most assuredly square. People were seriously like, What, you weren't there? What are you, a nerd? Opening night was a thing to behold, as Lord Furbottom organized the grand. Jaw dropping a show ever seen. There was explosions and dancing girls. Dancing girls who exploded. Exotic animals. Exotic animals who exploded. Incredible feats of magic and wonder with fantastic production values all around. Furbottom sat for days on end, marveling at his breathtaking creation and packing handfuls of delicious, buttery popcorn into his mouth. But alas, his illogical contempt for intermissions ultimately cost his demise. And during the show, Furbottom passed away, having pooped himself to death on the way to the bathroom. Legend says he clenched his butt as hard as he could, but his little cheeks just gave out. Furbottom left nothing behind but his beloved theater, his precious kitties, his hat, <laughs> and of course his bloated corpse, which was lovingly drifted out to sea and immediately ravaged by sharks. And that, children, that is, like is the legend of Perham Furbottom, Not a sharks. respectable and apparently delicious a gentleman. But the show must go on, right? Right! For thousands of years, Perham's hat passed from head to head, leader to leader, and the theater still operates to this very day. And Let's what a one. piece of crap it's become! I bet Perham is rolling over in his sharks right now. Now. I mean, everything's poorly run, and the whole place stinks like pee and feet. And with everyone involved walking a fine line between moodiness and full-blown insanity, it's only a matter of time before something truly horrifying happens. But try to keep a sunny disposition as you sink further into darkness, yeah? Nobody likes a crybaby.
That's the uh the exit one. Oh, one. okay. And we made it to another part of the town. And look at this. This place is really getting sophisticated. Oh yes. It's good that we get shot. I'll save you hiding. Things. I've heard some things. Seen that coming? 